understand that dating men could be difficult and you want to try something new but i don't understand now that because men are difficult to date you want to try women women are worse they are worse <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true I, I don't give a damn if you slap him in the head with a pan he's not supposed to hit you back <laughs> what what who i'm sorry i don't agree with that i know y'all young folks think it's okay to fight it ain't the man ain't supposed to he's supposed to walk away okay don't do none of that stuff okay let's get one thing straight crack is cheap yeah when she posted this i don't think it went how she expected one commenter said we told our daughter you hit a man be ready for ramifications even if i didn't have sons i'd still have told her the same thing another commenter says don't play with my son man woman or child if he hits you after you hit him his mama following up and the last comment says i have seen men walk away and women come behind and hit them with different things over and over again everybody has a breaking point point. and listen the better advice she could have gave would have been to tell women if they're gonna pick up a pant it should only be to get cooking because that would have de-escalated the situation far faster than actually hitting them with it game is game i'm 23 years old i have my own house i bought my own house at 21 no man shut up shut up your little wayne's daughter the most popular rapper on earth he bought your house <laughs> tell me why her father was looking at her like I know this cannot be my daughter because she is clearly out her rabbit ass mind for conducting herself like this in my presence. That man doesn't have to ask who raised you because he knows for a fact he raised her and he does not allow any disrespect and just that fatherly stare down he gives her without saying any words. She knew what she was doing was inappropriate and out of line. Listen, she may be grown, but how you conduct and carry yourself around your father should matter. Jetta guy, you know, he told me his name. I'm going to tell you his name at the end. Uh, he told me his name. My cousin looks him up. Like, he's playing the NBA. I'm like, ooh, cool, right? You know? <laughs> so we go out and sit, you know, we end up, you know, he picked me up in Lamborghini. This is my favorite car, favorite cover. What's up? It was yellow. Mm. So we ended up in the parking structure and we just had sex in the parking structure at my hotel on top of the lobby, like the hood. Like people were driving by, you know, and stuff like that. And then the next day, what are you doing? You got, you got a little parking structure at the hotel. You still have a home? I had a dress on, but I didn't have a home. Like it was, I was laying like on my bench because I was a little bit smaller. Right? It was missionary in front of me. Yeah. yeah. How long we got? I don't know. Time didn't really exist. Right. You got it. Yeah. No. So wow. then the next day, I don't know. It's just, you know, it was just. The next day, we were in the truck. We were deciding I could back in the truck. Cool. All right. She'll tell y'all what his name is. So later when I left him, we talked for a second. We talked for a second, right? And we never talked again. And I was like, damn, I'm trying to look for the nigga. I'm trying to look for him. I finally looked up his name. Mind you, my cousin looked up his name first. His name was Jesus Sutherland. That's what he told me his name. So that's Ray Allen in a fucking movie. That's Ray Allen. Getting taken to Pound Town on a Toro car by a creative player then telling us how your goofy ass was cracked to the max is insane. Women be like, men are easy. They'll smash anything. Nah, you mofos are easy. We'll do anything with a man if he got money. Morals no longer exist if a dude with money trying to holler. Last commenter says, I would eat grits with a toothpick before I ever tell somebody some shit like this, groupy ass. <laughs> the fact that nowadays it's become a flex for women like this to disclose their raunchiest escapades of sleeping with men of status or in this case a man who she thought had status just for a few more minutes of attention and spotlight people like this fail to realize that once you put something out there on the internet it's pretty much out there forever for anyone to be able to find i think i should rule so kayla's like all power to the men you know what i mean kayla's more like i don't want to say anti-feminism you're not but like if the guy can work and I can be a stay-at-home mom, I'd rather do that. 
Yeah. Who fought for our damn rights to go to work and vote and shit. <laughs> if a guy can't make the effort now and spend money, what's going to happen once we have kids? He's going to leave or keep us in poverty? The saddest part about all of this is how many women actually think that a man's value and worth is determined by how much money he has. And instead of looking at high value, meaning a partner that has ethos, morals, ethics, is a great person, has compassion and empathy for their partner, is showing up for them, creates a safe space. These girls are looking at it as, well, if he's not spending money on me now, what's going to happen when we have kids? Let me ask you a question. What about you? Dad! What? Dad! What? Dad! What? Dad! What? 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 Shut up, Josh. Holy shit! Here's the movie! It's a men's essential lives. Bernie, Dad. Exactly. Uh, Bernie, um, this is an absolute question. I, 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 I was wondering if I could invite you onto my podcast to talk about the... What? 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 What just happened? Holy shit! It was the movie. Hey, listen. Who said fathers don't have superpowers too? This man's spidey senses started to tingle, and he hopped up faster than a speeding bullet. How to not give a fuck about a bitch? Guys, if you under the age of 30, chances are you probably still out here looking for love. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Quite frankly, I encourage it. Because the only way you truly gonna find out what female nature is about is by investing. You probably need to get married or maybe have a kid and then have her take all that shit away with no remorse. Only then will you become invulnerable to bitches. Right now, I'm at a power level over 9,000. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! Y'all, I had this bitch over here. She had three kids, two of them died. She was telling me the story about the tragic event that happened to him. Truth be told, I ain't give a fuck about them kids. I ain't kill them. Now, did I feel bad that she trusted me enough to tell me that? No. But did I feel bad about what actually happened to the kids? No. Look, I came to this bitch for some ass. I'm not a therapist. Guys, you are not allowed to express your emotions in front of bitches, but they can do it. Don't mean we have to give a Game is game. Yeah, right. Okay, so should we allow adults who identify as toddlers compete in preschool soccer? <laughs> No. Why? They identify as a child. They want, we want them to be comfortable. No, because that's not a legitimate mental illness. It that's absolutely not a legitimate is. Mental. No, 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 no. That's a real thing. <laughs> Having people think that they're in a different body is a totally, is a real thing. People think that they're dogs. People think that they're cats. And some people think they're children still. They never grow out of it. It's a legitimate mental condition. So shouldn't we accommodate fully grown 50-year-old men who want to play t-ball like how can and this is what happens when you decide you want to start to change laws based on people's feelings you end up opening up a floodgate that you just can't close because what one person views as outlandish and ridiculous is another person's normal and i don't think this is necessarily going to end well because before you know it you're going to have men built like lebron james dunking over helpless women all over the WNBA. but hey look at the bright side It'll probably at least be more entertaining. The most toxic expectation women have of men, expecting him to relate to feelings the way a woman does. Men have a completely different relationship to feelings than women. They don't trust feelings. They trust facts. It's not how men operate. For a man, it's more about what he values, what he stands for, what facts he trusts. So instead of asking a man how he feels, about something, ask him what he thinks. You can learn a lot more about a man if you ask what he thinks rather than what he feels because he can relate to that. So for you guys who have been a part of the channel for some time now, you know I'm always trying to do things a little bit different when it comes to the content I put out in this genre. I always do my best to try to stand out from the crowd, don't want to blend in with everybody else. With that being said, I recently posted a spoken word clip that a lot of you guys gave a lot of positive feedback about and enjoyed and was asking about where to find the link 
I came across another one actually that I wanted to share with you guys. I'll be sure to leave the link in the description for this one also, like I did the previous one. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Legs locked. Up. One. Two. Three. Okay. Four. All right. Hit it, big boy. See what you got. All right. Your turn. All right, now see, you see how I did it. Now let me see you do it like I did it. Arms locked. Arms, arms out. Okay. All right. Like, like that. Like yes. Right. Pay attention. I told you how to do it. Now let me see you do it. One. On this? This is good, right? How's my phone? Get it, man. Don't ask me for nothing, all right? I just wanted to share that because I thought it was hilarious. I'm 36 years old and I work out pretty consistent, pretty much on a regular basis. But I got a 20 year old nephew whose testosterone is pumping at 100 miles an hour. And he's just a constant reminder that you can't outrun father time. You know, it baffles me the amount of women that are like, I would never let my husband tell me what to do. I'm not his child. And these same women, they'll go to work. Their boss says, hey, I need you to turn this in by 5 p.m. They say, yes, sir. The HR manager says, hey, I need you to stop saying this to your employees. They say, okay. The trash man says, I need you to put your trash cans beside the road on Wednesday mornings. They say, okay, and they do it. The speed limit sign says, don't go past 65. Guess what? They don't go past 65. The nurse says, hey, you have this condition. I need you to take this medicine. They say, okay. Your single friend will say, girl, you don't need to do this for your husband. You need to tell him this, this, and this. And they say, I can trust you. You're the expert. Literally everybody else in the world will tell them, jump. And they say how high and they do it. But when your husband who has a covenant with God to protect and provide for you, tells you, hey, I don't think you should do this. Yes, you should do this. No, you should not do this. It's a problem and you're oppressed. You know, too many times we hear women talk about how they want a man to be a leader, a provider, a protector, someone who they can love and trust to make the right decisions. But when they say that, they still want to be able to move in such a way that is not in sync with that man. But what they fail to realize is that when you're dealing with a man who has those core qualities, he is going to exercise demonstrating and using those qualities. And it just does not make any sense that you would desire search and commit to a man that possesses those traits only to turn around and completely disrespect and ignore him this ain't what co-parenting is supposed to be you take advantage of the system and then they take advantage of me who would have thought the one that support my child would have me paying child support ironic i want to take my son to see basketball games but you want to take me down the court of course of course you claim you struggle by yourself when me, your parents, and your aunts and uncles always give you help. They paying for daycare. I'm buying groceries and running errands, posting pictures of you and my son without me. Don't make you a single parent. So you're going to bash me on social media saying I don't do nothing while me spending more time with my son is not up for discussion. Online, you're saying I'm not around and don't care about my child, but offline, you're trying to get back together with me to be a family now. How? You ain't the same woman when I met you. You used to be sweet, but now you petty and disrespectful. See, that's exactly what I left you, and you still don't want to notice it. We've been broken up for years, and you still don't want to get over it. Every new relationship I'm in, you try to sabotage it. Pathological liar whose actions defy logic. You try to be my new girl's bestie on some blended family nonsense, then proceed to disrespect our relationship by trying to be my side chick. See, I just... I just want to see my child. You know, you always tend to hear about the struggles of the single mother, how they do it on their own. They don't get any help from anybody about how they have this superpower. But this is the other side of the coin about the men like this who are doing everything they can to take care of their child. And unfortunately, there are cases like this where it comes with some type of opposition from the mother, where seeds of jealousy and anger because the man only wants to be a father and not in a relationship 
are planted in that woman's mind to the point where it becomes a game of manipulation where she's trying to figure out how many different ways can she get underneath his skin in order to try to make his life that much harder. And the reality is there are some women out here who are just false flagging as single moms because if the father makes sure he makes it his duty to be a part of that child's life on a daily basis, then that's not doing it by yourself. Anyway, guys, questions, comments, and feedback, drop them down below. As always, if you enjoyed the content, hit the like and subscribe button for more. And as always, until next time.